Hey there. Hey guys, welcome back. All right. Thanks for joining me again. I am Pat, the Queen of Wands. We're shaking everybody. Let me turn down my lovely music. All right. <laughs> all right. Thanks for um, joining me again. I appreciate all you do. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, booking. Thank you for all the thumbs ups, the comments, the emails, and all the purchases. I truly appreciate every one and each and everything that you do. All right. So um, I am back because divine want me to share a dream with you guys i have a dream okay not like martin luther king <laughs> okay <laughs> but i have a dream okay and my dream is um divine want me to share with y'all and i am to get more personal with y'all i think that's why i've been going on all these journeys and everything because divine want me to show and share my um transformation my phoenix rising to you guys all right and you know i've been on the road and i've been in the countryside and everything i've been posting pictures and everything like that i'm showing you guys about you know this new beginning a new start and how gracious and how beautiful and um just how prosperous and just how your soul feel on the inside how you found your self-love and your self-worth that's what i'm experiencing all of this at a a multitude of beautiful energy and just love that I want to share with everybody. It's like all of your creativity come out and everything like that. And you're just able to really relax and be who you are and don't care about what other people think, what other people plan, what other people strategize, how other people hate you and all of that. All of that is like in the back. That's a past energy for me now. I don't worry about anything like that. I just move forward with my life. But however, I was given a very vivid dream and i remember every step of it and that's why divine said you're supposed to share it if it's that vivid okay now this could be for the collective or just could just be for me in general but i am to share it because this could be a message okay so my dream was um i had went back into a past relationship okay i went back into a past relationship and I was like all excited and I was happy. You know, I was like hearing everything I wanted to hear. I thought that this was it right here, that this is actually going to lead to something like marriage. I was very happy. Okay. But however, me being happy, I was blinded. I was blinded. I still, I, it's like, I didn't listen to Jesus. I didn't listen to God. And, you know, in this dream, I kept seeing the Jesus card that I have here in my tarot deck. Okay. I kept seeing that. And it's like, I kept seeing God said, I can't save you. I can't say, I can't save you. And I just kept hearing that, you know, and it really scared me. But however, I just kept moving forward and went in with this relationship and with this person, letting this person make the decisions. And I was just following behind like a, you know, like the old Pat. Okay. Like the old Pat. Okay, so somebody tried to take me back there. Somebody tried to take me back there, and it was about power and control. Okay, now that I'm awake, I really realized the purpose of me having that dream. Okay, and um, it was about power and control. I was um, happy to be back with that person. That person had planned a vacation. All right, it was like a couple's vacation. Okay, and um, but however, we wasn't going to get there together. I had to meet him there to he, meet him there. I was like, oh, okay, meet you there. Okay. So, um, I met them there. You know, I paid for my own room and did my own stuff. Even though I thought that I was going on a vacation, you know, with the person I loved. Okay. And I just started, I didn't pay attention to the red flag of me having to drive. I thought we was going together. I didn't pay attention to the red flag that I just paid for the room myself. And I thought we was going to, you know, do this together. So I sat there for like five hours waiting on somebody to show up at this room. And then I just started thinking, but they showed up and we had a good time, you know, the first night or so we had a great time. And then, you know, the next day, it seems like this person picked a fight with me. This person picked a petty fight with me and disappeared. So I was like, wow, where did they go? So I was down in the, um, in the, uh, in the hotel looking for this person, you know, my person. And um, I went to their friend's room and knocked on the door and they was like, oh no, we ain't seen them or whatever. I was like, wow. I, and they was like, I said, dang, we just had a little disagreement, something minor, they disappeared. 
So I was just walking through the room, through the hotel, looking for this person. And then I went back up to my room to call this person. And I kept getting, you know, like a voicemail, voicemail, you know, nobody was getting my car, kept texting. I wasn't getting any responses and stuff, you know, and I was like getting kind of pissed off a little bit here. Okay. So I went out back into the hotel and I was like, can you call and ask where they at? So this person, they so-called friend, you know, was texting them and saying, Hey, Pat looking for you. Hey, da da da. They wasn't doing anything at all. They friends knew exactly what was going on. Okay. And I I went back out after, you know, they was like, they ain't answering me, man. They ain't answering me. That's what they was telling me. All right. They was covering for their friend. Okay. My person, they was covering for my person. So I went back out into the hotel and I started looking for my person. Okay. And I was looking, you know, all over the gift stores and everything. And I seen my person going in the elevator with another person, not another woman in the elevator with another woman. And I was like, looking, I was like, Hey, Hey, where you been? Where you going? Whatever. And I walked up on them and I found out, you know, this was this person's wife. Yeah. This was this person's wife. Okay. And, um, I was the, the side piece, the third party that was invited, invited to on a trip. Okay. On a trip to be this person's side piece while they was with their wife. So they was trying to handle me and their wife. I was like devastated. I was hurt. I was shocked to even find out that this person was married you know, and played me because I had been dating this person for like maybe six months or so, or, or just, it was something about, or we had gotten back together for just six months. I had a history with this person, but I feel like we had gotten back together for six months, but I guess there was only because that person was on a break with their wife. Only because that person had broke up with their wife and, you know, they thought it was over, but you know, that was it. And they got back with their wife and was trying to build things with their wife after they had um came back to me, you know, ended our relationship and everything like that. And then they took their wife back and did this vacation stuff. And they didn't really want to lose me or let me know what was going on here. So they tried to keep me as a side piece. Okay. And, um, when I found out this, I seen this, I was like, wow, they did it to me again. I said, you did this to me again. I was just looking like you did this to me again. And I was just like in shock. I went back up to my room and I cried and my room had gotten so dark. My room had started spinning. I was like, where am I? You know, I it was just black, pitch black, and it was spinning and spinning and spinning. And all of a sudden my cell phone rang. And I went over to answer my cell phone. And it was Auntie Lily. And she said, this is what will happen if you take this person back to you. Take this person back again. If you go back in the past, this is what will happen to you. And I was like, Auntie Lily, my auntie has passed. And then that's when I woke up from the dream. So this is just a dream. It was just devastating. And I literally like was shocked. You know, when I woke up, I had tears all down my eyes and everything. And that's what woke me up to talk to Auntie Lily and to see the room was spinning around and it had gotten so dark. It was like somebody was trying to take me back into a dark place. I feel like my ancestor, Auntie Lily, my deceased loved ones was trying to wake me up to a situation that don't go back. It's nothing good for me back going back. I'm missing my blessings. I'm holding up my life. I've already been there and done that. Some people don't want to change. Some of these masculines are just taking us back because they're on a break from their marriage. So just be aware, okay? And that, that, that dream was so vivid, and I remember every step about it, that I just got myself caught back up into the same game. And that was like a message to me from divine. Like they warned me even before I went on this vacation, I missed the red flags even before I went there. So that's what I want to share with you guys. And you guys could be having some very vivid dreams, but those dreams could be warnings. So really pay attention. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.